Brisbane-based Intwine are pushing the possibilities of screens to their limits, allowing businesses across Australia to leverage Optus's living network, creating stunning visuals, interactive experience design and real-time data feeds. So we're joined with Cameron from Entwine. Cameron, let's start with how the super fast 5G network has transformed the evolution of screens. Look, the biggest change for us and the biggest impact is the fast network allows us to support 4K content to the 4K screens that are in the network. So we're really impacting by greater quality and better outcomes for our retail customers by having that really great image uh, on the screens and a super fast internet flexibility of 5G allows us to get that out there in real time. And how are your screens changing the in-store experience for customers? I think a great example of that is our recent Optus uh, store in Queen on Queen in Brisbane. We've got an amazing array of screens in there, but the feature wall uh, is a 15 metre LED. In behind that wall we have a range of video cameras, and those video cameras are looking for data points on, onto the customers. So we can identify age, gender, dwell time, and then we feed that data back into the system to, to cast and host content that's relevant to the shopper. That content that gets put in front of the relevant customers, could they be retail offers? 100%. And, and a great example of that is when we see a, a teenage boy, for example, standing in front of one of those cameras, we put up information about prepaid plans. So we really tailor that shopping experience to retail outcomes. So one of the major benefits of the Superfast 5G network is it opens up the world of IoT or the Internet of Things. And these trillions of sensors are going to be talking to your screens. What are some cool examples you've got around how that's happening? Yeah, we're starting to see the relevance of machine learning with the use of sensors. So with super fast internet, we can connect everything from humidity to temperature, sliding door openings. So we can start to program how a retail space should operate. It's, it's HVAC, how it, it's temperature control, um, right into staffing modules. So we're starting to see those sensors automate or smartly learn the best way to run retail spaces and public spaces that actually have a cost reduction in your overheads. It's actually like almost having a, an extra staff member programmed to do certain things so that we can get on with serving people. You're absolutely right. And the great thing is using the screen to visualise what they're doing means that it's relevant. If all that stuff happens in the back in a server, people don't understand it. But by being able to visualise the saving, the environmental impact, those kind of things, it's part of your corporate social responsibility these days. And we're, we're seeing heaps of that being done in retail. And it feels like a natural evolution beyond the screen is in the augmented space. What sort of innovations are you seeing around AR? Yeah, look, it's a big part of what we see as the future. It's very early days at the moment. Being able to virtually pick a colour of your car, the mags that you want on it, the trim that you want of it, um, those things are here now. They will be more commercially available very soon. So AR, with all those centre points coming in, is going to be really exciting in the retail space. Thanks for joining us, Cameron. It's amazing to see what the Optus 5G network is capable of. Sure is. Keep an eye on Entwined. It's a super interesting company.